This is Justin Pulitzer. Um, this is a dedicated video on Priceline, and I decided I wanted to do this. Um, I broke this out of the weekend update. It was actually part of my weekend update last week, and I decided I wanted to do a dedicated video on it tonight because it kind of shows what happens when a uh, trade setup goes a bit of awry, and my mental mind, how I'm thinking, and how I think you guys should be thinking. Now, Priceline here had come up, and it um, had had a bit of an inside move, and then on its earnings, and then had a uh, you know a bit of a chopping decline, and then this started getting quite precipitous. And my thoughts last week in the weekend video were that we had a 61.8 Fibonacci retracement, and that any move over this reversal bar high, this 121140, um, was a buy for a move to a um, to a fib fib retracement of 38.2, which I had said was about 1237 ish, and. You could see this never triggered, and we never got into the trade in that capacity. But I actually had been long off of this um, this fib test, and I wanted to show you my thinking and how I handled this trade. So you could see the next day after that we had a bit of a test below again to this area, and then a hold. So you've got to be thinking that two reversal bars is 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 bullish. Now any violation of these bars starts getting bearish. Now, if you take a look here, the next day we not only had that reversal bar, and it it um, not only took out these two lows, but it closed below there, and it also closed a little bit below the 61.8 fib. My thinking and my thought process at this time is that you no longer are looking for a long, and you're looking actually to get out of your long, and possibly even set up short. So any type of a bounce um, this day uh, into this day's range, which I kind of figured would happen because we closed down near the you know. Not at the dead low, but pretty close. That we were a little bit extended from the VWAP, from the the volume weighted average price, really just the fairest price to do business of this day's range, and that we'd probably get a bit of a retest of it. And you could see the next day we did. We had a pretty pretty strong close. It closed up almost near the highs, still below this day's candle. By the way, the body of this candle, which is a huge tell in my opinion. If we'd have come back up here and closed up near the highs of this bar, or if we would have closed over it, then I would say you have a really seriously bullish pattern. But that's not what happened. We did come up. We closed below here, and this. Me was the opportunity to get out of the trade, and I did, and I posted it in real time at tw on Twitter. And you could see the next day we came down, and then the day after that we came down even worse. After that, my thinking with Priceline though is that it is going to set up again um, to the long side, and my hope is that it does it at a technical reference point down close to this 1087.26. I don't think it's going to be a straight shot down there. I think there's going to be some bounces and chop and such, but I do think we eventually do get down somewhere near this 1100, and I'm hoping it's really to the tick at this 1087, um, this 1087 level. Priceline likes to do this. If you take a look back on the charts, it had had this huge 100, decline, 100 point decline a while back on earnings, and it stopped to a breakout point to the tick. Um, so hopefully it's going to stop to the tick on this um, this this bounce play on the, to the lows. Now, if that happens, my my thought here is that you could buy shares for a right or right out trade, or just sell a raft of puts. If this comes down hard into this, um, the IV is probably going to spike huge, and um, you're going to have the ability to sell you know over hundred dollar out of the money puts and still get like a dollar or something for them, which will be absolutely phenomenal. Because you'll see, it'll already have come down pretty hard into this level, um, and the chances of it continuing is starting to, without some type of a bounce, would be uh, unlikely. And that bounce obviously would crush the IV, and you'd also have the benefit of uh, price going your way. Um, another thing I like to look at sometimes is stochastic momentum, and you can see that both of these bars are well below the lower um, lower band. The bad news for anyone who's still long is that this really has to round out and then come back up through this lower band for the for the move to really for the upside to really start taking place. So there probably is still a little bit more time to the downside. Um, I hey this this could uh, make me make me completely wrong on this analysis, but you know my my theory still stands that either there's some type of a buy down here or if somehow miraculously we get back up over this um 121140 then it's a it's a play again for the for the upside so that's my my downside projection i'm looking for something close down to this 1087ish level as close as possible you know if it got down to 1100 and put in a big bottoming tail hammer i'd be looking to buy up over that high similar to this play um so I'm just looking for that reversal, or again over this bar. So let's keep that in mind and um, enjoy.